The moment a satellite departs, its launch into an orbit of its own is like the moment it is born. But if things go on as they are, what sort of environment will future satellites be born into? Decades of launches have left the Earth surrounded by a halo of fast-moving junk. There are more than 17,000 trackable objects, larger than a coffee cup. They threaten missions with a catastrophic collision. Even a one-centimeter nut could slam into a valuable satellite with the force of a hand grenade. If left unchecked, the problem of debris will only get worse. Large derelict satellites are like time bombs. Sooner or later, they will be involved in a collision. That is, if they don't explode sooner due to leftover fuel or partially charged batteries being heated up by the sun. And items of debris will continue to collide with each other, starting a chain reaction that generates even more junk. But the future doesn't have to be that way. We have a choice. We can start to deal with the problems, looking after space at the same time as caring for the Earth. The European Space Agency's Clean Space Initiative aims to change the way the space industry operates, putting environmental protection at the heart of the business agenda. It all starts on the ground, with new space missions being designed with consideration for environmental impacts during their entire life cycle. Going into space doesn't have to harm our environment. That also means looking for alternatives to commonly used space materials which are not environmentally friendly, such as protective coatings or satellite propellant. If greener alternatives can be found, then they should be much cheaper to use and are actually likely to offer a competitive advantage to European industry. Customers are more likely to choose the environmentally friendly option. Clean space also involves studying the various phases of space missions, including the launch. Analyzing all the environmental impacts of space missions is a complicated task, but in the Clean Space Office, this work is already underway. Up in space, the existing debris problem will be tackled in two separate ways. The first part of the solution is through new rules to limit the production of space debris. At the end of their lives, satellites must be removed from key orbits perhaps using drag sails to steer themselves down or by firing themselves into emptier sections of space. The second remedy is to actually remove large pieces of debris from orbit and reduce the danger of a collision. A new type of spacecraft will salvage derelict satellites from the busiest orbits, keeping space lanes safe for active missions. The work of clean space has only just started, but it is essential if we are to continue making use of space for the benefit of all of us down here on Earth. Clean space, because the right way is the clean way.